firm. You can fold or you can stand firm. I'm a real one, so I ain't concerned. I'm fully built for this life. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. From the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun, here's Watson. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Watson. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. He's going to float this one deep. Right. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown. Here, a big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans have taken the early lead. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score Texans 7. Jaguars Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17 yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Out of the gun, McDonald. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you gotta find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And he's gonna be brought down back at his own six-yard line. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So 
So first and 10 now from the 30. First down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Second and 11 now. From the gun, it's McDonald. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Just short of midfield. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. the shotgun now here's an inside give and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 12 yards there and a first down that was good tough running right up the middle and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction that's often the end result so a first and 10 now in houston territory at the 39 yard line from the gun. McDonald escaping the and he lost the football and the Texans scoop it and his guys are going to take over at the 34 yard line. Partner on my spot sheets I highlighted turnover margin because we, we remember they turned it over four times last week so another one here in the first quarter this isn't the way they want to go. No not even close and, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice talking about what they need to get done, working on it, showing them how to take care of the football, and emphasizing what it means in terms of winning. They are, they got to just be puzzled right now that they're not taking care of the ball better. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Josh Allen make that now eight sacks for him on the season. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, he'll let this go deep for Sutton. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. At the 23-yard line. The stick sets up a first and goal.
A quick throw complete to Chark. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Three yards the gain there, second down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. No gain on the play. Brings up third and goal. From the gun on third down, McDonald, and that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height, or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. The take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 to score as they begin first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down at the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. These two teams all tied after one. Second and nine, Watson, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for five, it's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. From the gun on third, Watson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. On first down, Watson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down, Houston. Watson looks to throw again. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. First down, Texans. down it's Watson and that is caught touchdown Cortland Texans complete to number Cortland 15. Sutton Cortland touchdown Sutton. number 15 touchdown. of the year and the Texans have taken the lead the and his kick good. is right through makes the score Texans 14 Jaguars 7 following the touchdown here's Marr to kick it away Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Jaguars take over first and 10. 
at their own 24-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. From the gun, McDonald. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 33-yard line. to throw on second down. McDonald flushed out right. And he hits his tight end, Escobar. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 70th catch for him on the year, and like so many others, this goes for a first down. from the gun, McDonald. The right side, complete to Escobar. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. That's out to the left, flat and complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Makes it third down and 10. Operating from the gun, McDonald. This will be caught just inside the 10. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Yard gain on the play. It's now fourth down and one. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. And he won't have the 
touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll give Ford out another crack. And this time he is in. Yes. Leonard Fournette in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you got a brand-new ball game. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Watson on first down. Looking left side and it's complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. A gain of 18 on the play. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. The final shot before the break, Watson. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, McDonald. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down, McDonald. 
He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back. On maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. at the 24-yard line. From the gun, McDonald flush to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. again McDonald escaping the pressure right got his man it's caught touchdown Jaguars a 24 yard touchdown and the Jaguars have moved out in front I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines but the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. At their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. Buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Man open left side is Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 23. First down, Texans. Shotgun now. Here's an inside give. 
And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 23-yard line. On second and 11 now. Watson. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. That is caught at the seven. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Operating from the gun, Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Watson's Touchdown, back. Houston. 17. From Touchdown, six yards Houston. away. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. The extra point is good. A diving catch for the score. He laid game. out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. Tied after the first two drives of the third quarter. One for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. comes in this might be a free play Escobar with it over the middle and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled so offsides the call and they understandably decline it and this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all of these things this one's minor it's pr pretty easy to figure out but all the game management stuff trying to help out the head coach in his decision making process First and ten, McDonald. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Looking to throw on second down. McDonald steps away to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Check 19. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Jaguars on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. From the gun, McDonald. 
He's going to loft one deep left side here. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. That'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Making the give. Now Watson. And this is incomplete. Pass thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's third down and seven yards to go. The Texans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Complete to number 81. A big one there for the Texans. 18 yards. And the Texans... First down. Now a first down throw. Watson. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. It certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 39. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. To the air yet again, Watson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -to -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Again, it's Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. From eight yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. 
That will tie the game. 28 all. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Room to run at the 50. And it'll be a terrific return here as he gets it down all the way inside the 30. But so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big time return to seize the momentum back. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. First down, McDonald. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. to the 15. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Brings up third and six. Operating from the gun, McDonald. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. A 26-yard attempt. And Lambo will put this one through. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score the points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards on the pickup. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, Watson, throw left side, complete. It's Brown, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Off of play action, it's Watson. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, 
Defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well, and they end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. 28. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. An unlucky number here, a loss of 13 on the play. And now it's second down. Watson. Got a man open, it's Sutton. Watson. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. A gain of 14, but it's now third down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Watson. Picked off at the 33. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. We'll call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Three-yard line.